going to be Super Akuma going up against Jod. <laughs> yeah, you know what I want to see? I want to see this. When I see, I want to see destruction. I want to see pure things that shouldn't happen. I want, I want, I want to be entertained. That's what I want to be. I want to be entertained by some, uh, um, some Akuma. Round one. one thing I've actually noticed, I, know, I wanted the chat to know, is that every uh, match that Jod has played, he's changed his um, Nina outfit. Is that is that is that the case? I'm I'm sure. I'm almost sure every match he's played, he's changed the Nina outfit. Uh, now 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 he now, let's 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 see now innit, from now. I'm sure. Okay. You know he's going through all them presets. You know Tekken did a good job with the um, presets and different cost, um, costumes. I'm, I must give them that. They, they did, man, but like, I kind of wish that they would... Wow, was a really good punch on the, on the, on the fireball. Holy God. I kind of wish that they would like, charge for some of these, you know? Like, some of these are so good, like... And, you know, let's say, for example, they were to like, you know, sell some of these customs, legacy stuff, and then putting that money towards like a world tour, you know? Like, I think they would make a lot of money, man. Ooh. Yeah, plus, Nice. I've seen other games do that, where they release like a wow. special skin for like, Evo, and it goes into like the prize pool there. But yeah, no, that would be cool if they done something like that. You know, bring back a legacy costume that you know people would really like. And this should be a big punish, yeah. Yeah, Super Kuma gonna like that one, man. That's going to the wall. Oh no, mind QCF one drops, so Super Kuma kind of gets away with that. Still a big chunk of change there from Jod though. Sometimes you gotta get away with the crime. You know, Kuma be rubbing people too many times and getting away with these crimes, so. You know, it's the real spot there. And I do, honestly, I feel like Bubsy. The, the thing about Akuma that is the biggest issue with this character that can cause uh, issue for people is the down three. You know, working yeah. around the down three and the super cool ability to dash in there and use it at the right time is what really gets in these wins. Mm -hmm. But what's not getting him in the win is a blocked down four, but he is not going to be deterred from using it. Just jumps on out of there. Who needs neutral, bro? Who uh, needs sidestepping? Who needs forward walking? Who needs buttons? I must just jump on out of here. Yeah, man, off the scene, bro. He's got a bar of meter now to work with. He's looking for that standing two down three. That was out of range of clean hit. So, you know, John is going to be able to defend, you know, burn that meter and carry on his offense. I think right now is the best time to play aggressive because Akuma hasn't got the meter to work with. Yeah. This is a, a random question. Does Akuma have a wall jump? Like, back, back. Up, I don't think so. Right? That's the question. I don't think so. He just jumps forward, basically. He just jumps forward. Yeah. Okay. And holy cow, that's big damage, sidestep one. And what a way to end the match as well, because at the end of the day, man, sidestep one, it is a mid and it's plus on block. Uh, you know, if your mm. opponent guesses wrong and ducks, then that kills. If they don't duck and they block it, well, you're plus on block and you get another mix up. So I really like, you know, Jod, he's, he's utilizing the moves very well. That's it, man. 1-0 one, one, oh, to Jod right now. I can tell you, like, I'm telepathically seeing what Super Akuma is doing right now. He's doing this. Getting his hands ready. Yes. You know? Definitely. And it's the start, of the, it's the start of the set. Super Akuma, let's see if he can get warmed up and get the thing done. He's our champion. Uh, you know, he's been on these kind of King of the Hill things in Europe quite a bit. And, you know, mm. uh, I believe maybe Chicken Maru was the one who got rid of him the last time they that we did this, I think like 2020, a couple years ago. Mm. Yeah. Take down the crown. And now we're once again here and Super Kuma is the king again. And uh, it's going to be a difficult to take him down. I'm telling you, there's not many people that can do that. But, you know, you mentioned it yourself, Bobsy, that these guys have played each other in tournament. There are, the, you know, when it comes to the French scene, you know, having someone that like, like Super Kuma, obviously he's going to be in all of your local tournaments, a lot of your local tournaments. You know, Tekken France Tour has been going on and you, you're always going to come across this guy if you're up there in the bracket. So I'm sure Jod has a lot of experience and you can already see from the punishment of the fireball mm, and yeah. some of the well, stuff he's been doing that he is ready for this. Oh, fight. no, Jod, you just, you just messed it up for me. I'm, I'm more than certain he changed his costume every single match. No, don't do this uh, to me. You're making me like, seem crazy. Uh, no, nah, you're making me seem crazy. I feel like I've been lied to, Bob Z. Like, I don't know what's going on. Bro. Maybe, maybe he's on loss. I don't know. Something's happening. <laughs> right. On loss. <laughs> maybe, so don't yeah, maybe. Okay, don't change your winning team. Is that, is that what you're saying? I'm saying that, Jod, please don't make me look crazy. <laughs> I'm sure he was changing it, bro. Because I saw, the, I saw the, the wedding outfit. I saw whatever other presets. We'll see after this one. Maybe he forgot. <laughs> nice. Ooh, Super Akuma gets on the board there. Nice. And uses the bar meter to close Fight. it out. Yeah, Kuma and that, that pesky bar, yes. you know. The magician, man, he spends his bar and your life bar just disappears. It's a little bit of Houdini, bro. Just, you know, puts, puts, takes this out and takes your life bar. 
He takes, oh. he takes his meter bar, you take your health bar, man. It's a good train. So here we go. That health bar is slowly disappearing. Look at this. We're going to go downstairs as well. He doesn't want to keep the wall pressure. He's going into the open. Duomo di Sirio, bellissimo. Yeah, I'm glad you said it because you know me and my enunciations are very <laughs> bad. I think I think when I was commenting with Rip, he said it. I was like, yeah, thank God because I ain't saying that. I'm surprised Rip was able to say it though. Yeah. I'm just surprised that any American can say stuff that's not English. Like I said, I have nothing but love for my brother. <laughs> He's like, I'm not involved. I'm not involved. <laughs> I'm not involved. <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. But what I am involved in is this match. That was a great low parry. Yes. Good punish, knowing parry. that he wasn't going to finish it. Mm. Ibukuma doesn't have the bar. John needs to kill it. Doesn't. Oh, just built the bar. Now this is dangerous. Yeah, threatening that down three. Super, super dangerous. Nice sidewalk. Sidewalk left is the way to be the down three, but he didn't get a launch, unfortunately. Down four, two does not launch crouching. Oh! Nope. That was definitely clean hit range there. Super Kuma probably banging his hitbox. Probably tried to get the fireball. Didn't come out, and he's probably looking at it right now. He's using down three just as a poke right now. He's just poking, poking, uh, threatening it. You know, that is definitely something that's going to get you scared because you know the threat of the actual full combo is there. Does mm. John duck here? He doesn't. He does oh. a quick one. Nice! Good option there. Spends the bar. That's, that's a mini win there for Jod. Definitely. But Super Kuma definitely knows how to play the second game with this character as well. Here we go. Oh, this, that was definitely in the clean hit range. And if he keeps this nice and simple, definitely going to be the round and takes that first game. Well, not first game. He takes the Super Kuma and takes his first game. Yeah. Yes. That's one now. match piece now. You know, that, that's the thing, it's just working around the down three. And I think, you know, Jod did a really good job in sidewalking left. And I think, you know, when the game first came out, everybody was saying, you know, oh, the way to be a Kuma is to hop kick the anti, you know, to anti air, try to anti air and sidewalk left. Those are the things that everybody would say. Two things, sidewalking left and that. Because, but the thing is that sidewalking left can be dangerous because a Kuma standing two tracks the side step left and is a, mm. it's more damaging than the down three. So, just the lateral movement is quite scary, but if you know down three is coming, the low parry is always there, but then of course the sidewalk left, I think is a safer option maybe. Um, but Jod does need to go for a different punish than the down four two. He went for down four two, doesn't crouch, it doesn't launch crouches like the Leo down four two does now. So, you know, let's see if um, Jod can make the adaptation. Yes, I wanna see what costume Jod picks because- He lost. Um, yeah, I'm more than certain he was, um, maybe it's every two games, I'm, I'm gonna say that one. Maybe it's every two games. No, you can't say that. you just got, you, if, you, if he doesn't change mm -hmm. the costume now, Bubsy, you gotta hold L, I'm sorry. Nah, if he doesn't change the costume, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I think he's listening to the stream as like, he just wants to, he's, he's doing a Kobe to me, he's doing a K-Wiz, he's making me seem crazy. I made K-Wiz seem crazy, that was so funny. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you do? When you there when I was making, I oh, see, yeah, 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 change it, see, yeah, 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 I'm not, I'm not that mad. Not okay, that's cool, but, he, but, but he has to lose, if he loses now and he doesn't change, like you're, you, you said you're committed now, Bob. You're committed. No, to no, I'm, said. I'm committed that he forgot on the last game. You know, nah, the nah. first game. No, nah, no, nah, he forgot the first okay, game. Okay, so even if if Jod wins, he'll change. He'll change it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I'm, okay, I'm, okay, fair enough. Putting my, putting my, putting my chips down right now. Yeah, I'm putting all the chips down, securing the bag. <laughs> Alright, let's see then. Let's see. Let's see. Good stuff, nice. there, man. Close first round. <laughs> Still so don't have the bar to work with either, but doesn't matter. Just gonna jump on in there. He's about to build that bar though, it's gonna get dangerous. Oh, he's built it. Oh, he's built uh, it. Why is that? Uh, you know what? I wanted to see the destruction anyway. I wanted to see this, but why is that a thing? Yes. Yes. This isn't Marvel. This is, why do we have OTGs? Like, what game <laughs> are we playing? Okay, uses the meter, but pushes Jot to the wall, so it's not all doom and gloom right now. He wasn't able to get big damage from it. Down three gets blocked down for two. Nice, good timing there from Jod. Yeah, that was that was a very good defense sequence there from Jod. It looked like, you know, he was really playing defense. Nothing uh, that Super Kuma was doing was actually getting through. Mm. But has that bar again? Need to be very careful. What? That's a launch. I've never seen that. <laughs> I guess at that angle, that's that. crazy, bro. Nice. Yeah, great awareness there for Yo, that's that's the thing about character specialists. Oh, that was not in the back. I was able to break that. Yes, and I like the anti-air as well. I didn't know that was an anti-air from Jod, but yes, up for two to finish the combo there. 
Supercoon. Works his way out of that wall, the lateral movement, little sly lateral movement you see as he's doing the sidewalking, sidewalking. Changing the position slowly. And then Jod gets a counter hit. So this is going to be a full combo. And Oki. Yes. Is he going to Dragon Punch? I thought he was just going to Dragon Punch that. Just do the regular one on Yeah, that's what up. I thought too, yeah. He didn't have the meat of the EXDP, but Jod once again finishing the round with a sidestep one and catches Super Scream with Duck in. Yes. Ooh, nice block on the down three. But yeah, here we go. Bar was there, so it was very dangerous. Here we go. Big wall slap. Go the things oh. Nice. Let's get some launch punish on that Tatsumaki. Hey, hey. Mm. Yeah, I love this pressure. And, he's, uh, and also, because uh, Super Kuma doesn't have the bar, so there's not that threat of EXDP. Great block on the low. Uh -oh. He needs out to of kill there. him now. He needs to kill him now before that bar. Yeah. Wow. Jod all over Super Akuma at the moment. Really making all of the right reads, man. It's um, incredible. Incredible stuff right now. That was very solid play. I mean, keeping himself at the perfect range where Super Akuma is not comfortable. Because obviously he he wants to be in close range, and every time he gets in, I mean, Jod is is quite active and knows exactly what he needs to do in his side walking, lateral movement, the move choices, the keep out. It's looking very good at the moment. And Super Kuma, one thing that we know about him, Bubsy, is that he is the he does his best when he's able to mix you up with the jumps, and he has not been able to do that right now. Mm. With Jod. I guess all that that pressure with uh, Nina, she's got really fast perks, the downfall ones, and the jab. It's just. I guess it's even hard for him to kind of like get out of the air to even jump, like get into there to even jump. It's just, uh, I guess if you rush down like that, just gonna have to not have that option. But the only option I'm interested about right now is what Jod is wearing. That's the only option I care about in this first to seven. So. All right, we'll find out now. We'll find out now. Is Bubsy a liar, ladies and lads? We'll find <laughs> out shortly. Is he crazy? Does he need to be taken to a mental <laughs> institute? We will find out shortly. <laughs> I know that Super Kuma changes his costumes quite often, though. Does he? I thought it was always a camo. I, he, he used to. He had like a bunch of crazy customs. Oh, oh yes, he God. does. I'm telling you, he forgot on the first one. That's what it was. I don't know, man. I'm I sus know. of this. I still, I need to see one more. I need to see one more, Bubsy. Right. I'm not convinced. I'm, I'm not convinced. totally convinced yet. I'm convinced. It's fine. <laughs> What's convincing is this big combo. Doesn't yes. have the bar either. This is a big win for Super Akuma, but gets launched. It was a bit too overzealous with that Tatsumaki. And that side wall coming in for an assist. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. Marvel mm. got assists now. Side wall is an assist. That's what we're going to call it now. That's, that's the Marvel in the side wall assist. <laughs> side wall assist. In, side wall assist, bro. Just assist you in a combo. Combo breaker. Fight. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, gonna get the punish? Yeah. Good. Has that bar as well? This is it against dangerous. Just as I said it. Yes, that's gonna go to the wall and I'll be an easy walls back to them. And this is the thing, man. We've seen all day today when when the players just start, start to turn up the heat, uh, it can be very, very um, off putting for the opponent. They're just not ready for it. And it looks like John has not been ready for Super Kingdom Paint this aggressively. Just really just going in and making, making all the reads. Yeah, and he also has that. I was just, uh, why? He just jumped out of there. Oh, uh, like, no, I said I wanted to see destruction. That's what I want to see. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this is not looking good. Yeah, you can definitely tell that Super Kuma has a, a different mindset going into this match. But Jod, gonna get a combo, goes for the key charge. He needed to do something. Gets hit by the down force sweep, and that is going to be a very quick match for Super Akuma. Yeah, I respect it. Like I said, you need to do something there, but Super Akuma, very aware of that situation. Stay grounded. Didn't want to eat that 50 fix 50, you know, because um, Nina does have that low into launch or that mid, so he just didn't want to deal with any of it. He just said, you know what, I'm just going to chill on down here. And, you know, I'll wait. Got the little grounded hit. Key charge has gone nice. Back to. The neutral and then i'm just gonna down for because that's a human neutral bro bubsy i'm telling you man like um the, the level that i'm seeing right now i'm super 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 excited for tekken uh tekken 8 pre-release hype you know whenever we get an, a date or whenever we get some information on tekken 8 man and the whole community i mean you were a big part of you know tekken 7 pre-release you know when you were working mm -hmm. with the companies and doing your thing and like you know you you were a very big part of it i just can't wait to now that the community is so much bigger 
how is it going to be now for, for Tekken 8? I can't wait. Um, and just to see the level, man. To see the, the storyline for Tekken develop, dude. It's definitely going to be an interesting uh, run-up to launch. Um, not to take the shine away from Tekken in a minute. If you look at the way Street Fighter, they're doing their kind of free to launch. And it's, it's looking wow, kind of good. See? It changed Fight. again. But he changed it back, though. No, nah, but you only have set amount. You only have certain amount, so... You know. I guess. Uh, no, no, okay, I guess. I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll hold that one. You got... No, you know what? You get away with that one. You get away with that one. You're not I didn't get away with it. I just, you got I away. Just, <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> no, the truth... The truth will always prevail. Oh, no punish. That's actually minus 10. The, the two jabbed into the knee. That's actually minus 10 and, and Super Akuma not ready for the punish. Yeah, and obviously Akuma has that nice knockdown punish, uh, 10 frames. Yeah, it would have been a wall splat and potentially dead as well. So those little things, man, I'm telling you, small little punishes like that make a huge difference at this level. Mm. Uh, oh, Super Akuma's like, okay, yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool, cool. Yeah, 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 keep on dancing, mate. Cool. What, what's this? Strictly come dancing, bro. No, this is Tekken, he's gonna, man. He's going to do down for it. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, All of that for what? All of that for what, mate? <laughs> nice. Good. Uh, this has been a very bizarre round. Don't get perfect after after doing all of that. Okay. Oh. Nice. Okay. Gonna Side get something step. started. So I step to realign with the combo. Yeah. Okay, now he's just. I guess he hasn't got a higher shield, so he has to just slide. Oh. Oh. Did you go for the slide? Nice! Oh my god, the anti air with down forward too. Okay, take it to the wall. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, four three into DP. <laughs> I mean, all of that for what? I like as I'm saying, it's, it's it's entertaining to watch. Like obviously, I'm not on the receiving end, so I'm just like, all right, cool, but. It is. I know, it's, it's a bit heartbreaking. <laughs> you ever see that clip of Luffy playing against Super Kuma ICFC? Who? Luffy from Saudi Arabia. He played ICFC versus Super Kuma Grand Finals. And oh, I think I, I think I watched it. Yeah, I haven't seen the record. Actually, I think I may have seen that. At the, at the Sphere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen that. <laughs> I'm... He's like, oh. bah, 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 bah. It's so easy for Super Kuma to win a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the side wolf splat assist there. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? I don't even think that was a punish. I think John just ducked. Either way, those Super Kuma clutching it out. And that's what he's known for, man. Clutching out these rounds. Yes, definitely. He's won many a tournament in the Tekken 7 lifespan. So, yeah. you know, clutch is one of the... If it, it was um, those Tekken stats, he'd just clutch would probably be in about S. Oh, it'd be S definitely plus. S plus, man. 100%. That's clutch as hell, man. So we're seeing a lot more jumping now. Super Kim is getting comfortable. Once you see him out in the air, when he has some air time, you know that he's feeling good. Mm. Yeah, we should have a that. stat of how long Super Kim spends in the air. You know, like when you have UFC, right? Like you, when, when they take you down, they count the ground control, right? Like how mm. long you've been in the air. And that would be really interesting to find out Super Kim. Either way, though, Super Kim is getting that round, utilizing those two bars of meter to finish it off. And that's 3-2 right. now. You know what we should do this this game? Let's have a jump cut. Let's 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 just do that one. Let's say because we can't time how long he's gonna be in the air. But let's have a jump cut. Let's see how many jumps he does this this um this round. Let's let's play a long chat. How many jumps this round? Actually, we should we should ask the chat how many jumps do they think is gonna be in this match, and then whoever's okay. closest. I don't know. Like I I haven't thought about how many jumps per match would happen. Like how many jumps does Super Akuma do, or what did Akuma player do in a match? Like. I kind of, it kind of depends on some certain situation. Like if I keep his back to the wall, he'll jump more. Uh, I'm gonna say fifth, four, four, thirteen. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thirteen, battle. thirteen. What are you saying? What are you saying? I think watching. He's gonna, he's gonna keep on jumping, just to get, just so I would be wrong. <laughs> Oh, he's definitely watching. <laughs> so if I say 24, he's going to go for 24 on the dot. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Well, what's your number? Right, I want to... I want to... Um, in the whole... In the whole... This the whole, whole match. match, this, match uh, yeah. this match. I'm going to go for about... I think 27. 27? All right, cool. Let's, let's keep a count, man. Let's keep a count. <laughs> you got to help us in the chat, man. <laughs> and it is... You know what? It's another It's another custom. I'll give it up. I right. Okay, that's one. Okay, one. Okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Damn. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> Alright. As we got two so far. That's gonna go to the wall. Good. 
He's definitely gonna jump here, surely. He has to. Really punish that, nice. Nice, gets to punish. Just jump for, yeah, three. Three, okay, three. Four. Four. Uh, that, that's not okay. too bad, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. Round two. One round, okay. four jumps. Fight. Okay. Does that count? Um, okay, that's count, yeah, five. It's in the combo, yeah, five. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking to win this. <laughs> hey, jump some more, six. Six, okay, nice. This is, a, this is not, I'm, so, I'm actually really interested to see how many jumps we get. <laughs> That's that's oh is that does that count as a jump? No, the end of the no, no, no. Seven. Oh no. Seven. My 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 numbers not looking too good, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got seven. Hey, hey. no, my my number, man. What do you mean? <laughs> my number's hey. bad, man. <laughs> so we could so we could stop at um thirteen. Maybe, but John needs to win now. He needs to get perfect. Okay, now you gotta let him not get up. You can't let Super Kim back up, man. No, let him back up. I want to see some more jumps. Damn it! Nine. Is that 10? Oh god, yeah, that's 10. Dude. 11. No, no, where did that 11 come from? He, he done the jump kick there in the combo. No, that's not, that doesn't he count. Did. That doesn't it count, does. bro. That's 10, it man. It does. Nah, that's Allow 11. it, man. <laughs> he was in the combo. It's, that's 11. That's, that's 12. That's 11. <laughs> <laughs> that's 100% 12. 100 but that doesn't 12. count, man. It does. Go on, give me 13 right now. 13 is coming. <laughs> oh! Okay, two bars I need to work with, that's gonna be a combo. Oh, look oh at the damage! Ah, uh, that's the that. Uh, see, no, you was kinda right. All yeah. right, so it was 12. 12, yeah? And why I said yeah, 13. You, you said fair? Uh, yeah, he was... Fair enough. I thought the match was gonna go on longer, that's why I said 27. Oh, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was gonna be like, just that like 3-3, three, three, but... Mm. I mean, 2-3. Okay. 11, 12, 11, 11 or 12, 12 jumps, how, depending on how you want to see it. it was, I, I will say 12. So you, yeah, you then you go ahead and bang on. 13, I said 13. I was going to say 15. I went down to 14 and then I, I committed to 13. But yeah, I mean, uh, Super Kuma. Some of these things you have to jump though. You know, you go for the wild standing two, the jump gives you the full, the full thing. Mm. Um, and honestly, yeah, just uh, in control now. Super Kuma's 4-2 up, uh, looking, looking pretty good. Definitely looking very, very good. But you can tell that Jod also has, you know, the knowledge. He has the uh, the anti Akuma ready, but it's you need more than that to beat. Because you know, you're not just beating the character; you're beating the player. And, and the Super Akuma, ah, that's also very rough because he just got a random select. This is the only random select stages, by the way, guys. In this set, mm. we're not doing no Tekken World Tour rules. This is random all the way. And he, and Super Akuma, just got his favorite stage, which is the way, the one he always goes to, the Howard Estate. Yeah, I guess the only saving grace here for Jod is that uh, the down one uh, uh, reset, I guess, infinite has wow. now gone. So, you know, it's a little bit of a saving grace. Maybe um, Jod can use the walls to his advantage and another costume change here. So I was not bugging at all. I wasn't bugging. I'm just thinking, I think Jod was bugging. He forgot on the first game. That was a bad time to forget as well, just when you put that shot. Yeah. I feel like he did on purpose. No, no, no. Oh, that was uh, definitely... Uh, was that DP on purpose? I don't know about that one, bro. I don't know about that. Jod taking that first round. He definitely needs this. He needs to make it 4-3, because 5-2 seems a little bit of a long day, especially against someone of Super Kuma's caliber. Yeah, someone who's so good at adapting and understanding what your opponent wants to do. This guy's... You, you can see play styles and be like, okay, I know how my opponent's feeling, but what the hell was that as a launch? Good stuff from Jod. <coughs> there we go. Is this going to be a new combo? Okay, goes for Okazemi, tries to go for the new tactics, but yeah. didn't get the wall uh, bouncy. What do they call it? Wall splat now? What do you call that? Because I'm not really technically a wall splat. What do we call it? Oh, what? Tactics, is that it? Well, when when they bounce up the wall. Yeah, but there's got to be like a professional uh, win name for it. Professional win? Professional name. Because it's not a wall splat. It's not a wall bounce. It's a wall stun, maybe? I think they, they called it yeah. wall, wall stun in the, in the, uh, the patch notes, right? Oh, I didn't actually know that. Just jumping on in there, using all those jabs and key charging and just... Uh, yeah, I mean, that he knew that, that there was nothing he could do there. Or well, wall crush mm. was what it was called last see. Kira, Kira's a nerd, you know? That's always crash. comes in there okay. saying some nerdy stuff, man. We're gonna be a nerd, bro. 
Nah, man. You know, knowledge is powerful. Now I know about wall crushes, and that was sort of going to be a But the thing is, though, Bubsy, is that it doesn't even just happen at the wall. That's the, that's a wall crush. Yeah, cool. Wall crush. Oh, god damn it. Wall crush into wall bounce into wall splat into. Oh, he's dead. Jump. <laughs> oh, oh, he's dead. Super Akuma in the driver's seat, well and truly feeling himself right now. And, and I was gonna say that Jod winning this match would be massive because it's on the stage that Super Akuma loves the most, and it would have been a good little win for him. But Super Akuma now is really looking like he has a lot of momentum. Yeah, you, you can tell when uh, Super Akuma is comfortable, and you can just tell in his play style. I do that. I love that comp that that punish from Jod though, dashing underneath the jump, going for the down three too. I'm gonna have to do yeah. more than that though. Chip in a way that could have been a big launch. But if we're talking about launch and getting one of his own, they're thinking to go to okay. He probably didn't want the break. No! Oh my god, dude. He didn't confirm the hit. And Super Akuma gonna EXDP. <laughs> mm. uh, that's funny, bro. Like, I don't think sick. Jod wanted the wall and break in that combo. I think he went into wall splat and then the break and then the rage drive. Because I, I don't yeah. think he expected the break. So he had to kind of adjust on the fly. It nearly made the other wall, but. It I didn't. don't know how and that then... didn't make the other wall. Like, I, th I would have thought that would carry a lot further. But very, I guess, unfortunate for, uh, for, for Jod that he didn't get that. But he did get the mid at the end. He didn't confirm it into the second hit. So. Yeah, like uh, a few drops here and there. But ladies and lads, once again, I want to tell you to make sure that you please uh, claim these codes. And if there's anyone, if there's anybody in the chat right now that hasn't done it, all you got to do is go into the chat, click the, the link, the Macharina link, and Get click this code right here. That's it, this little link that says claim code. Uh, just just click that and it'll add a free, literal free money, 25 cents into the price pool. And if you are feeling a bit uh, less digitally lazy, there are a bunch <laughs> of side quests you can do, which will also add stuff in. So you can follow this Twitch, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitch or Twitter account, whatever. That's thirty cents there. There's another ed extra twenty there, like fifty cents if you do this email thing here. So there's like a bunch of things you can do that adds money into the price pool. So uh, if you are enjoying the action, please, 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 Fight. let's get some of those done. Yeah. Hey, we got super Kumas. Okay, maybe he's so rattled. He didn't change his costume. It's a bit rattled there. That's, that's what happened. You forgot. <laughs> Look at this pressure, unlimited. Oh, yeah. Not letting him go, going for the Super Kuma classic buttons into that uh, power crush and just not letting Jod out of this wall. Okay, that was weird. I thought I would have hit. <coughs> Looking for a magic four combo, doesn't get it. Down three, stuck in the mud, Jod not moving. I mean, I feel like when your opponent has so much momentum, you start to doubt yourself, you start to doubt your options, and Super Kuma is very, very good at making you do that, especially when you're mm. jumping all over the gaff. Yeah, it's, it's really weird, because Akuma, if you put it like pen to paper, doesn't have that many moves, but the way uh, Super Kuma mixes up with the jump and everything, it, it just makes it seem like you can never really guess on his offense. One very thing I really hard. like that um, that Kira would do with um, the Nina versus Akuma matchup, because Kira and the Super Kuma have played a lot in this matchup, is his mm. use of high shield step like 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 Jod did against um, uh, Zeon. Because the high shield step has good evasion, but it also automatically blocks down, um, the lows, the down three just completely lose to it. So I would like to see Jod use a bit more of the high shield man, because it was working, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's still going to be difficult either way. Yeah, you know what, I'm, as he started to say that, I was just looking at Jod's moving, and at one point, he, he really did look like he was just, like he like said, stuck in the mud. Yeah. Um, yeah, he just seems very, very hesitant and getting something started. It just seems like everything's coming up with Vincent, and okay, all right, can I get something started now? Yeah. Does that, does that rage available? Don't get side full. Oh, press his burns, nice, nice, punish on the jab, but he drops a combo and he can't be doing that, 10 seconds left, poison breath, is it going to be enough time though? What a block man, this guy, the defense from Super Akuma, something that people just don't talk about, baby. people do not talk about the fact that this guy, regardless of the situation, in that situation there, it was a 50-50 and Super Akuma has mm. the experience to understand when his opponent wants to go for a low and when they don't want to and he's very good at guessing correctly, man, it, it's one of those things like, why would you duck there? Especially when, the, you know, Nina has safe wall splatting options, which was already used. Why would you duck and take that risk? Well, he's like, 
it's a tournament, it's an exhibition, it's first of seven, I'm winning. He wants to get, a, you know, he probably is desperate for a win to cut the momentum. So he'll go for a low here and he just he just makes the right read, man. I mean, it's, it's something that's very underlooked or mm. overlooked, sorry, when we think about um, Akuma, Super Akuma. Definitely making the correct read, man. That was that was such a good, and it's good to um, be aware of that situation, knowing that he had to flip over, and knowing that that was an option, you know. So he showed that he was keeping aware of the of the, the situation that the Okazemi situation that he was put in, um, which is great stuff. You got to always be on point, and you know, be always um, watching what's going on on the screen. I guess some people don't, and they kind of just run their own kind of flow chart and don't actually pay attention to what's actually happening in the match but Vincent there showing that he's definitely on point he's definitely still awake yeah fight well either way though uh I believe that means Super Kuma is on you know set point here so if he gets one more match this is going to be over and he remains king of the hill here and renegade EU uh again like I said he's been in this format before and it's been extremely hard to get rid of this guy running one again and that should be the round. Yes, sir, it is. Yes, round definitely. Two. Just Fight. everything's just looking, uh, they say, Millhouse. Everything's coming up Millhouse for Super Akuma. But, Judge, you know, I don't want to count him out just yet, but he's in a very bad situation now because Super Akuma does have that bar. I like this relentless pressure for stopping him getting anything going. Okay, also taking him downstairs to continue the combo, but drops it. A big yeah. drop. This is good pressure here though, but oh, a big drop from Super Kuma as well, and it allows Jod to get back in. Round three. Here we yeah. go. Fight. That's one thing he needs to also, I guess Super Kuma has now shown him that, you know, he has that um, counter hit down jab conversion, so Jod can't get too overzealous with his pressure. He needs to be very careful. Oh, look at that whiff punish though, Super Kuma. Very a waste honey like man. Just standing to for any big whiff that he sees. And, as a big chunk of damage. Try to go for some nice little wall tech, but I don't think that works anymore. Mm. Wrong version, bro. It's going to take time for people to adjust and KO. taking them out. People to adjust. It's still taking time for people to adjust to the Akuma jump ins. It's so powerful. And he is now on, I guess we can call this King of the Hill point. Yep, call it that it. Anyway. King point. King point. Nice. Ooh. Using the, the dive kick from the demon flip. That is an option that works really well. He doesn't get the tailspin, unfortunately, but he's enjoying himself, man. We're on the beach, man. Get that vitamin D, bro. Enjoy the, yeah. enjoy the view. Oh, sun my is God. Setting. He's going to do it again, isn't he? And the sun is definitely setting. <laughs> <his position. laughs> this guy's a waste, man. Super Akuma. How good is he, man? Once again, staying king of the hill here on the Renegade. Beautiful, beautiful stuff.